guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be working on and showing you guys because there's a bunch of service dog handlers out there. And I am a now a service dog and training handler. I still have my ESA and my now I have a service dog. In the background is my service dog and training Maggie. I have her in that in crates because it is my work time. And so, this is what I, I like to do. So, the reason why I have a service dog in, is because of my PTSD, my mobility skills, but also a couple of my other disabilities. So, let's get started. And if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe and comment down below what else you would like me to do. Alrighty, let's get started. So today I'm going to be working on, like, uh, my first one piece I'm going to show you is collars. She has two collars. One of them is just a basic flag a collar. And it has her tags on it, like her service dog tag that come, came with her vest. Her rabies tag and her friend account, her um, state tag. So that's what it is. And then she has her no bark collar. And basically what this is, it, she barks in all night and while she's in her crate, so it helps her with her barking. It is a training method and it is a training tool, but it highly works very well. And that's one reason why she's not barking now. She's whining because she's in the crate and not near me. And then uh, there's uh, two other gear I like to use on her. Oh, she is working. I use a gentle leader or a Hulkty. This one is a gentle leader, and I have a walk and train downstairs, but I can't find it right now. So this is uh, the gentle leader. Her hang. It goes through her here and her snout goes through here. It does not hurt. Basically what it does, it just uh, works with her head. And then when uh, she's using that, Maggie's okay. And uh, then I also use a easy walk harness. Now the reason why I use an easy walk harness is because even though with the head collar, I cannot get in the range of motion that I want with her body. So I use also a easy walk harness to help with that. This is medium, but she's starting to outgrow it. So I'm going to get her a medium large pretty soon. So this is one other tool that I use. I do use a traffic lead once in a while. I'm getting another one. This one is just a in store part one. So I use that. And then I use a Kurgo hands free leash. My Kurgo hands free leash I love so much because I can't hold a leash that long. So this actually helps. With this, plus her easy, her gentle leader or halty and her easy wall harness, I do not need to hold a leash unless I need to. And then I do have a Kurgo dog boots, but I have to get a smaller size because I got them way too big. I got a size large, so I have to get a a whole new size. And then I have a couple patches. Two, well, three in training. Two of them are reflective. And these came out of the set off of eBay. And then this one is a custom made one. It says to multi purpose service dog in training. Do not pet, I am working. Came with 
service salt patches, which I love. But her vest is actually a registry vest, but I did not register her. So what I did with the registry sign off of this one, it was actually like this. But I don't like to use that registry sign, so I cut the registry sign off, and I don't use it. I love the layout of this patch either way. The only thing I don't like, it's not reflective. Like these two. So they can't see her at night with this. Okay, Maggie. And then she does have some... Uh, Burger tools, uh, like she has a bowl. I currently have to get another bowl because she chewed uh, her others, but I've been using a burger human bowl. And then, do you guys want to know where I got this patch from? It is by K Service Canine Gear and uh, her ex. Um, websites, uh, Facebook, and Instagram is right here. Go check her out if you have a service dog. This is well made. Within a two days, I got this. She did a really a good job on it, and I love it so much. Now, with her vest... I, like I said, her vest is technically a registry vest. I got it a little bit bigger so she can grow into it because she is still a puppy. And she's only eight months old, so I don't know how big she's actually going to fully get. And what I like about this vest is it has a cooling gel in it. And what it means is I don't need to put a cooling vest under her because she is a black lab. And she does get hot. So what I like about it is it's got the cooling gel in it. And the whole entire thing is reflective. I got this off of eBay. Not too bad on a price. It was only $27. But... It is well made. I like it because the chest star can be removed if I don't want it to, which a lot of times I don't use. I use it of the belly. It's also been cooling. I stick this in the fridge or the freezer and it stays mm -hmm. up cold very well. And I love it so much. It is reflective here and reflective on the girth and all around the border. So she is seriously visible. It did have this earring on top, but it broke off. So I'm going to get it hemmed and get it all, all prepped up and ready because I've been using this D ring for her guiding and her for momentum. I've been training her to do that. And. So, basically, what the layout looks like is on her vest, they have one service log and training patch up here, and then her multi purpose service log patch here, and then her service log, another service log and training patch right there. Now, when I see she gets indeed fully trained to be a service log, I will not be using this vest that often. I'm hoping once when she gets two years old, I can get uh, her balance, her bracing handle with her guide handle. And I'm going to get that from Yup Collars because she cannot do balance right now or guiding. She can do guiding, but I don't want her to get that harness yet because. It has the bracing handle on it from Yuck. So I'm not going to get that until she gets fully, until two years old. Aww. Love you, baby. I love you. She's so cute. And then I, for right now, I've been using a standard size leash. 
and attaching it to the forefront of the vest where the chest plate is. And I've been tying my knits because I don't have her pull strap yet or a guide handle. I made the guide handle just by putting a leash in front of it. And it goes over her. And it's not hurting her whatsoever. Basically what it does is it just helps me when she's like working or, or something. And what I used to do when she had this D-ring on her vest, I used her traffic lead as a handmade pull strap until I get her pull strap. It is being ordered, but it's just taking a long time because it is a very good, well-made um, vest. Well, pull strap and traffic lead. So basically what I do is this goes over her head and it don't hurt. Oh, you see your vest. You wanna get dressed? You wanna get dressed? I will be right back so I can show you guys what she looks like all dressed up.
So, Maggie, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I know you're running your horse and over it. I know. And she's rested up. She knows that she's working. Focus. Good girl. So this is uh, how I do have her laid out. And yes, she does not like the head collar. But I tried every other thing and it does not work on her. So yeah. So, right now, she really wants a ball. But she's not too Oh. Maggie! Please <laughs> don't leash. Can I have it? Thank you. She's still getting used to the head holster. But it's going to take her time to get used to it. I've only had her for a month, but. Amazing on the training. Yes. Yeah. So this is how I always have uh, the leash a bunch of times. Um, there's a couple times where I'll have to cross my waist, but this is how I, for right now, until I get get them that harness. It does not hurt our trach whatsoever. Come. She can still do free. Free range of motion, Maggie. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed because I certainly had fun doing uh, my intro to my service organ training and doing the service all gear yes good girl yes now this is without her booties and i'm going to be getting her booties so uh, soon so this is what i like to do for right now but i just got her booties yesterday they're giving me a different size, hopefully. And I'm sticking to cargo because ruffle wear is not going to work on her. Because of, due to the fact that she has her new clothes. Thank you. This is another collar. That she sometimes wears. 
and that's her brother, which is my ESA cat. They both have a, a same collar because I like to get <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like to like share and for them to have the same um, collar. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you guys want me to do like a service of the outing, I certainly can. All right. Have a nice day, guys.